Hi, and welcome back to my channel. Have you ever wanted to start exposure therapy, but you don't know exactly where to start? Now, let me preface this by saying I am not a medical professional. I am not a doctor. I am not a trained physician or even a therapist. So, take my words with just kind of experience that I've been through with exposure therapy and what I have read and such and so forth. But um, anyway, have you wanted to start exposure therapy and not known where to start? Well, I have some ideas and some tricks and tips for you on where to begin. And um, that is where I want to start my video today. And hi, if you are new, hi, hi, hello, how are you? If you stumble across my channel, here we talk about subjects related to agoraphobia, but we also talk about subjects related to makeup. And if you are interested in either one of those topics or perchance, you are interested in both of those topics, then I highly suggest you hit that subscribe button and hit that notification bell and set it to all so you can be notified every time that I upload a video, which is practically every day, except Tuesdays. These days, I'm always uploading, um, Wednesday through Monday. Occasionally, I don't subscribe, I don't get together, Jennifer. I don't upload on Sundays, but I have been a lot lately. And anyway, we love to have you in our little family here that is slowly growing. And, um, yeah, if you are interested in this topic, then stick with us because we are getting right into it. Okay, so when I started exposure therapy, I kind of went about it the wrong way. I thought maybe making grand gestures like driving myself to my therapist's office or going for a big trip to the drugstore would help shake me out of being agoraphobic. And I did these things and they didn't help at all. I would come home and there would be months in between when I would do another thing. And that didn't work for me. Maybe it would work for somebody else. Um, just to go out and keep doing big things every day. What I found that worked for me was to start out very, very small taking very small baby steps. And I just started with going outside. And my daughter walks home from school, so I would sit out on the porch and wait for her to come home. I would go out 15 minutes before she was expected to come home, and I would sit out on the porch, on the porch and wait for her. And... You know, if somebody would come by and say hello, I'd say hi back. And um, if the package delivery came, guy came by and dropped off a box, I would accept the box. And I know I have social anxiety issues. So these were very big things for me to do too. So... My suggestion is to start off something small like that. And again, I am just one person suggesting things to you. 
like go out on your front doorstep and sit for 5, 10, 15, work up your time every day and um, just sit out there and get some sun shine and um, if that's not enough, if that's too much for you, just get out on your balcony if you are in an apartment complex or go out into your common area of your apartment complex or sit out on some stairs or just wherever in your complex that would be convenient for you. Even if it's just standing outside your door for five minutes. Um, if you don't think that it would trigger a panic attack, um, just start out very small. And then I graduated to going and getting my mail, walking outside to getting my mail and bringing it into the house. And then I graduated to actually walking around the block of my suburb and then that's kind of where I am right now. I'm kind of stuck there. But I am still working on what I'm going to do next. And, um, but it's the small steps that help you out. If you are already walking outside, think of something else that you can be doing next. Like taking farther walks away from your house. I know that I tried taking farther walks away from my house and I wasn't ready for that yet. So, um, that's just where I lie right now, is just taking small walks away from my house. And I do it during the daytime so that I am more likely to run into people. I used to do it in early in the morning when I wouldn't run into people. And now I do it during the day where I'm most likely to run into people so I can engage and like saying hi to people. And although I really haven't been running into a lot of people lately, and this month it has been raining so hard, so I haven't been doing my walks a lot of the time. Um, I still go outside and wait for my daughter to come home. I've kind of fell back into not getting the mail so often. But, you know, it's okay to fall behind on your goals. But just taking those small steps and maybe making a little goal chart for yourself might help you get started. And I made monthly goals, but you don't have to make monthly goals. You can make bi-monthly goals. You can make half a year goals. Whatever it is up to you. And if you're seeing a therapist or something, maybe you've already made goals for yourself. And that's great. Just keep on working on it. Let me know down below if you're working on goals or 
if you plan to start on it or if you don't think it's going to work for you. Whatever the case, just let me know anything. Just talk to me. Um, but yeah, that's kind of what's helping me. And I kind of check up with you guys at the beginning of every month of where I am with my goals. And yeah, so that's what I have for you today. Um, give me a thumbs up if you like this video. My socials are down below. And if you are new here, I talk about agoraphobia subjects on Monday and Friday. I talk about makeup subjects on Wednesday, Thursday, and sometimes Sunday. And check out my library of videos if you haven't, if you're new here. I talk about a lot of subjects. And, um... I hope you are having a great day out there today, and if you are not, I hope you your day gets better for you and that it follows you out through the week, and just remember that tomorrow is always another day, and that I hope that if you're not happy today, that you are happy tomorrow. So, just remember to stay strong, stay healthy, and stay safe, and I will see you in my next video, hopefully, and so I bid you farewell, okay, goodbye.